Hi, it's Saturday, February 8th, 2010. I've been waiting to show you the perfect video that not only shows you that there's no smoke coming from the chimney, but that the secondary flames, primary flames, everything is working the way I'd like it to work in my favorite stove, which is 24 inch wildfire elm with this new box beam secondary air reservoir basically what we are seeing is a combination of the primary flames as well as secondary flames coming straight down and off both sides of the box beam I have the draft set at about halfway open letting these logs heat up nicely I just added a couple of fresh logs before I went outside to show you the view of the chimney. There's a very healthy bed of hot coals. And what I usually do show a good view with the primary flames and then attempt to reduce the primary flame so that we can more easily see the secondaries which the most obvious ones come straight down from the box beam and we'll get off angle just a little bit and hopefully on your monitor we, what you're going to see is two rows going from front to back long fingers of flames that extend right down to the log as well as the flames, there are two rows on either side of this box beam where the flames go, well they basically wrap up to the baffle. There are two things that those flames are chasing. The flames indicate the oxygen coming from the reservoir. They're chasing the heat which is up high next to the baffle and they're chasing the smoke that's coming off the log, the fresh smoke coming off the log, which is what we're seeing as we look directly into the center of the firebox. Now if there was a way to do any better than this, I will do it, but I am reasonably satisfied that everything is being burned and I'm getting as much heat from the stove as I can be. Well, the, the stove is not what you'd call red hot. Let's see if we can get this little gun, if we can get this focused on it. Nope. I've got it set for manual focus. So you're going to have to take my word that it's about 850 degrees on the side, about 700 degrees on what's called the combustor housing. You see the little red dot there is pointing to where I'm taking the temperature reading. Now I'm taking a reading of about 700 degrees on the top cooking surface and that says about in the low 200s on a portion of the uh, stove pipe about 12 inches away from the stove itself. So this has been a very successful